Good morning, guys, from Maestro Video Copelli. How are you today? Hopefully, this time is working. This slide is a little bit tricky. Voila, just create, oh, there we go, now it's working. I was trying to figure out this light thing. Okay, okay, guys, hopefully everybody can see me here. How are you today? You have the pizza place? Voila, here you go. We are in the pizza place. Let's wait some people to get in. Thank you for the like already. So I'm gonna wait that some people comes in. in the live process right here. There we go. In the meantime, set up the phone right there. Scusate, ma questo live uh, è un po' tricky. Ciao, ciao chef. Ciao a tutti amici, ciao a tutti. I'm gonna wait some people to get in in the, this live and in the meantime I'm gonna set up a couple of things. How are you today? Good morning from Los Angeles. Okay. I'll wait a couple more moments, get more people in. Ciao a tutti, dalla Spagna, dalla Francia, tutti quanti, grazie. Allora, fantastic, thumbs up guys, thumbs up, only three, three like, guys, grande, grande, quanta legna, quanta legna. So, we've got the wood oven already made, ciao a tutti, welcome, grande, grande, siamo proprio in tanti, ciao amici, ciao a tutti, we got some wood inside the oven from last night, Amici, abbiamo un po' di legna già messa dall'altra sera, quindi accendiamo il forno perché tra poco si apre. E today I'm gonna make uh, uh, the dough with you guys live with polish. I'm gonna explain to you a couple of things. Uh, niente, amici, stamattina faremo l'impasto insieme con il metodo polish che ho preparato da ieri. Ciao Fernando from Lecce. Ciao, grande Lecce, ci sta dici. How you doing guys? So let's fire up this oven. Some paper. Let's fire up. Make some things done. Morning. Guys, I'm thinking seriously to buy a gas oven for my next pizzeria because uh, it's a casino. Ciao Donato. You guys like this? My new line of uh, shorts. Scusate, I'm gonna fire up this oven. Give me one second. I'm gonna read all the messages right now, live. Okay. We got 100 people. Thank you so much, guys. Like, thumbs up. Lasciate un like. No gas over, I don't know. Ciao, Maria. Another wood studio. Saludos. Okay. Sorry, guys. So, uh, I mean, it's too hot. Taking off this. The oven is getting hot. Okay, how are you guys? Getting ready. Getting ready for this amazing uh, oven, uh, for this amazing video live, just for you. Just got this uh, short yesterday. You can buy this on my channel under the description. Hey, how you doing? Uh, 
Yeah, you can leave it here. What is it? That's the only. What is it? More flowers, more tomatoes, more black chocolate sauce. Yeah, yeah, leave it here. Tell me how much uh, is it. Yeah, how much is it? What is it? The payment is five, so forty-seven. How can we possibly? Electron, no, of course. We have one case of electron, but I didn't know that one case. One piece. Yeah. I have the money, but we're gonna take it off the, the one trough. So, guys, this is the short. But you're gonna make, you're not spend money for right? I have the money. Yeah. I don't have 500 no. Okay, I'm sorry, I just had this uh, uh, delivery person coming. So in a little bit, we're gonna start to explain a little bit. We, we, we speak on po' di cose. Grazie a tutti. Thumbs up, guys, siete tantissimi. Uh, one question. Ciao, breakfast in America. How was the, uh, the, my last video? Do you guys like that? Comment, comment with a like. If you don't put a like, that means that you didn't like it. So, grandi, grandi. Uh, let me get the... The polish so I'm gonna start this video now with uh, we've got a 150 people here so I'm gonna start to explain to you uh, little by little okay then I chase all okay guys how are you we got uh, let me take the polish. Polish is basically a pre-fermented dough, like a, a liquid, bigger liquid. So. There we go, here we are ready. I'm gonna show to you. Una brush da ricciare, ciao Gigi. Okay, questo è il polish da fatto di 24 ore ecco come lo troviamo polish polish basically is a fermented dough that we are going to uh, we're going to put it in the in the dough with uh, uh, flour and salt so Basically, it's like a sourdough. <coughs> Saluti dalla Calabria. Grazie, Mario. Lo sai che c'è un pizzaiolo che è calabrese. Polish dough. No, Polish basically is the pre-fermented dough. È un preimpasto uh, di 24 ore che andremo ad inserire nel nuovo impasto. Uh, metterò il video, uh, che usci uscirà il video sul mio canale martedì come fare il polish e che cos'è il polish similar to biga but this is liquid thank you so much so i'm gonna set it up the dough machine so give me one second it's a little bit hard to make a live like that but uh, stay tuned right here vito ma cosa serve no cosa Dà il più alla pizza del pre e per, per, diamo una, una fermentazione un po' più naturale. Vito, voglio fare un corso e lavoro con te. Vai, vieni a Los Angeles, vieni a trovare e, e lavoriamo insieme. Allora, accendiamo, sistemiamo l'impastatrice. Andiamo, ecco qui, impastatrice. Con la pasta, questa, gluten free. We are receiving some delivery. Okay, let's set it up. Just leave everything there, okay?
Okay, we got the dough machine ready to rock and roll. So now we're gonna get the polish and put it in the Ma tu lo usi costantemente nella tua pizzeria donato? Sì, perché il metodo polish mi piace ed è il migliore. Uh, vediamo se riesco a sistemare questo telefono in una posizione. I'm sorry guys, but I'm by myself today, so try to figure out how to do set up the She likes my pizza. Good. Okay. So, give me one second, let me get the polish. Okay, so we got the polish. This is 10 liter. We're gonna dump it in the dough machine. Vediamo se riesco a fare casino dalla Madonna. Fanno un like da solo. We're gonna make sure we put it all inside the, the dough machine. What is the polish mix? So the polish mix today is basically 10 liters of water, 10 grams of yeast, and, uh, uh, and, the, and the flour and 10 kilos of flour. So, I'm sorry, five kilos. With the same bucket, we're gonna fill it up of, uh, we're gonna get, uh, we put 10 liters, so we're gonna put get another five liters of water, which I'm going to mix with uh, salt. Does the polish grows what temperature? Okay, the polish you make it. Thank you so much for the donation. You are the best. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Uh, and thank you so much for the support. Uh, I'm sorry, so we get there. Does the polish will grow? So the, the, you make the dough. Sorry, give me one second. Mia madre, eccola qui. Vai. I dress on polish. So I'm sorry, well, uh, the question before was the, uh, the polish, you make it and you put it in the fridge, like uh, 24 hours before. So this polish is made 24 hours before. So it's uh, 10 liters of water, 
five kilos of flour, 10 grams of yeast. We make it, we put it in the fridge. So this, I believe, is the best method of uh, making the dough. So now we're gonna put the water. We got the water. See, four degrees, yes. So we got the water right here, the five liters. Now we're gonna scale the salt. We're gonna scale 50 grams for uh, times 15 because we have 15 liters. Yes, it's very high, but this is remember this is polish, it's not uh, dough. Because now we have the polish in the dough machine, which I'm going to add the water with salt and the flour. So stay tuned. Sorry guys, in the meantime that I'm doing the live, I'm trying to work too, so be, be patient. So we are scanning the salt now. Uh, lievito secco, in questo caso secco perché siamo negli Stati Uniti quindi ho usato il lievito secco perché non si trova il lievito ok so this is how, how, you, gotta, how you find the dough yes, it's very hard my friend Yes, 800 grams of, uh, of salt. So now we're gonna add the, the flour little by little. Just salt, water, and flour. And then we add the preferment polish from before. Please guys, leave a like and thank you so much for the donation that, they, they, that you guys are sending. Grazie ragazzi per le donazioni che mi state mandando. Questa chat è grande. So we're gonna make the dough really soft today because uh, I'm gonna use it tonight. So this dough is gonna be ready for tonight that I'm going to show you. Ciao from Singapore. Grazie Alicia. So then you are the best, thank you. So we got the... the flour little by little Brazil loves you I love Brazil too guys now it's time to ask questions I'm here checking the, the messages please leave a like Thank you so much, guys. You guys are a lot. Hi from Filippine. Grazie, Bea. What's a soft dough? I will show you right now. Soft dough means more hydration. 
Can you repeat the measurement? Yes. 10 liters of water for the polish. 10 liters of water, five kilos of flour. Sorry, I, may, uh, I messed up. So it's, the, it's 10 kilos of flour, 10 liters of water, and 10 grams of, of, uh, of yeast. Okay, hello. How you stop from overproofing your dough? Well, yeah, I put it in the fridge. Polish your main dough in Prova. Well, uh, that mean is basically I change, I change recipe every time that I look the weather. So, ciao, Lana Nas. Fantastico, she's the best. Oh, he's the best. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now that uh, the dough is mixing, we're gonna go check out uh, the oven. Ma quello lì che ha detto ha lasciato la farina? Non disse niente. Dov'è? Io ormai ero. Sorry guys, but it's getting hot here, the oven. It's getting ready, smoky, there we go, right there. And uh, that's my mother. We just received the delivery for the flour. Flour, getting just from Italy. How? Grande aiuto a scappare da New York, è troppo freddo. Max, cioè, io sto sudando, guardate qua, how hot is in California. Cioè, amici, fa caldo. Oggi mi sono messo la felpa che mi è appena arrivata da internet. Cioè, ma ora vi faccio vedere fuori the California weather. Faccio vedere il California, la temperatura c'è. Fa un caldo terribile. Guardate qua. Cioè, siamo a maniche corte. Siamo a maniche corte. Ok. Andiamo di nuovo dentro. South Africa. Yeah, you can... Ma, puoi firmare? Just receive everything ready. No, that's my grandmother. So let's go back in the door. I see people leaving. Cosa? Non capisco. Two dollars. Yeah, you can get it, don't worry. So, let's go back here. Salt on polish. For polish, salt, nothing. When you make the polish, no salt. Just flour, water, and yeast. No caputo flour for me, thank you. Come? What is it? Yeah, it's good. Uh, so, in my, that's a good question, Rick. Uh, well, you're gonna put more flour. Cinque stagioni, uh, maybe. I like to use Mulino Piantoni. Me, I use Caputo. L'ananas, you need to change. Can you do one? Uh, League Polish recipe. Yeah, yeah, you can check it out uh, on my channel. I post uh, how to make the dough for the house. Grazie, grazie to you all, guys. I'm here for you. And thank you so much for supporting my channel. And really thank you for the donation. Really. Really appreciate it. Grazie Renato, grazie. Because uh, Jason, because we know the truth. Parmigiano on a margherita or not? Yes. Delected, I can't. 
That's my secret. Caputo, just marketing. Yes, you said the right thing. What's the what are the benefit on doing the polish? That's a good question. So, the benefit basically is to make a natural, more natural dough and a little bit more puffy and crunchy and fragrance. That's why that's why it's better. I prefer, I prefer. What stagioni do you use? I don't use Cinque Stagioni, I'm using, uh, I'll show you right now, Mulino Piantoni. Mulino Piantoni, Google it, check it out. Then, have you ever used uh, sourdough? Mm, yeah, I did, but the sourdough is not strong enough to make all this flour. Ciao Vito da Londra, grazie Alessandro. On the Unipro, on the oven. Yes, I can. So, uh, let's go back in the dough. Uh, this is the dough, we almost done putting the flour. So I'm checking the humidity, the uh, not the humidity, the hydration on the dough. So I want the dough a little bit more soft. So I keep it like this. Now that I put all the flour, I keep the dough machine spinning for about uh, 20 minutes. flour everywhere. Hey ma, puoi venire a controllare che c'è sullo schedule stamattina? So now, we get the phone. Yeah, get the phone. How much percentage you get? So I'm making it right now about uh, uh, 80% of hydration, so very soft for tonight. How much? When do you stop spinning the machine? 20 minutes. About 20 minutes, ready to rock and roll. Hey, Cesar, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Hello. Just one moment, guys. I'll speak with uh, my manager, ready to just guide you. Which is a discount. Uh, Cesar. For, uh, Sorry, give me one second. Who is in the schedule this morning? Who's in the schedule this morning? Uh, Habito. Last size from Brazil. You are the guy of the pit. Thank you so much. Thank you. So today, like you can see, we are making the dough together. Amici, faremo l'impasto insieme solo per voi live. Giusto per ringraziarvi per il supporto. Siete stati in tanti a guardare il video dell'impasto fatto a casa. Grazie. Jacopo, can you guys call Jacopo? Ciao Vito, quando ritorno in Italia? Eh, sarò in Italia maggio, 13 maggio. Fresh East or Instantis? Uh, right now we are in USA, it's more easy to find uh, uh, dry East, so we are using dry East. You guys need to call uh, Jacopo. Eh? Grazie a te. Guys, lasciate un like. Maestro di video Gabelli, how do you how do a pizza with a trick dough layer? Hmm. What's the question? Nothing, guys. So, uh, I wanna say something about uh, a really bad comment that I receive uh, that I delete 
because uh, this guy left a really bad uh, comment to me, a very racist. And um, I was really sad when I read this uh, message because I make videos uh, all for you and this is all free. And uh, basically, uh, and this guy got mad because uh, I didn't post uh, the, the recipe and description in uh, ounces. So I want to answer to this guy. I hope he's looking, this racist guy. And uh, it's because uh, uh, I post in grams instead of ounces because uh, the only one thing, because grams is more precise than ounces. So that's the reason why. Not because I don't like USA, because I became an American citizen and then I feel the USA is my uh, born town. So I want to make clear this. That's why I'm in USA, I'm not in Italy, because I love USA. But you know, these people are very, um, very ignorant and small that, that that says these things and very makes me really sad when I read these uh, these comments because I work really hard to make videos, running a pizza place, running a catering business, social media, and a lot of more stuff. So I just wanted to say this: when you put yourself on track, some crazy people. Don't worry, you are a very like man. Thank you so much, Dan. You are the best. Thank you for the support. But you know, uh, sometimes people like this makes the things a little bit more harder, and uh, that's it. So let's go back and go. Do you know Gennaro Contaldo? No. Is the best way to make the dough for the best flavor? Yes. But also the, the, the oven is really important. Vito, <clears throat> what happened with the dough when you prepare, how much of it can you keep for the next days in the fridge? Yes, you can. Ignore the jerks, yes, I will. Don't worry, uh, thank you so much, guys. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the support. You guys are the best. So let's go check the dough right now and see how it is if it needs more flour or whatever. So, like you can see, thank you so much, Paolo. So the dough is a little bit wet because I don't know if you can see, the when it's shiny, oh, when the dough is shiny, so that means that needs more water. So we're gonna add another scoop of flour. So like you can see, I, I'm not scaling the flour, I go by eyes because uh, this way I decide how much flour I want. So amici, come potete vedere, l'impasto è un po' troppo umido, quindi sto aggiungendo un pochettino, un po' più, un po più di, fla, di farina per farlo un po' più asciutto, e così la struttura della della farina eh, della, dell'impasto sarà molto più, più forte thank you so much Chris <laughs> Daniel, I have a Southern accent. Can you guys call? Uh... Huh? I have it, but right now. Samson. So what could be the reason for the dough to get not brown while cooking? And what brown crust, but sometimes it remains white? That's a good question, Samson, because uh, so basically uh, the fermentation is not right. And the pair, probably the dough, it became, uh, this is a good question that uh, 
that you have. So the dough, when it's white, when you cook it too white, that means because the dough has passed the, uh, the fermentation, so it became a little bit uh, acid. That's the reason why. So use it less days. So don't give it two, three days. Just use it the, the same day on the, same, the day after. Shiny dough, yes. I come a pizza in G3 Ferrari, grande. Thank you. Add in a little bit more. Like you can see the dough is becoming a little bit more dry and more the structure of the, the gluten is a little bit more strong. Vito, perdono la domanda, fuori luogo. Ma quanto tempo ha imparato l'inglese? Grazie mille. <ride> Gigi, allora, praticamente ho imparato l'inglese in uh, uh, esattamente quattro mesi, andando soltanto al cinema e, e basta, e parlando con la gente. Questo è, quattro mesi. Poi mi sono perfezionato durante gli anni e, e via, così via. Ora sono sei anni che sono in America e via. What weight are your dough balls? 250 grams, easily. That's the dough. And it's, uh, what? Okay, Bob's, I'm gonna explain to you how to make the bread. I'm gonna leave the dough there. Uh, the bread, easily. It's, the bread is very easy. This, the night, when you close the pizza place, get two balls of dough and uh, dump it, uh, no, close it, mix it again like you are making a ball, two balls long, and you keep it there for, uh, uh, for one day, and the day after, in the morning, you get it and you put it in the oven. Come on. Vito, normale che col polish il pasto viene più duro? Uh, no, non è normale. E se il pasto è duro è perché c'è troppa farina. Add more flour and proof dough. Yes. I wish you had those pizza oven. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was a little bit too expensive. Uh, one hour, one hour to eat the oven. What does it mean the dough is weak when the stretch it gets too thin quickly? Uh, that means that the dough is uh, acid, so it passes the fermentation. Can we buy Vitio Acopelli flour? I'll show you. Yes, from this, actually, next year in the live there. So you guys, if you want to come, this is my live. Yes, you can use the dry. Dry yeast is. A, I just made a, a a video about that. Do you ship to Peru? No, not yet. What's up, Vito? I want to ask you. It is a good mix for dough to make 50, 50, 0, 0 and bread flour. Uh, it is. It is, but it's, uh, like right now, it's a little bit hard to explain through the light. So I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, flour. Dove possiamo comprare il pomodoro vitio copelli perché sono in fra... Eh, tra, uh, tra... Sto cercando di lavorare su un progetto con Amazon per mettere la mia linea su Amazon e, e con la spedizione internazionale, come la, la mia nuova linea di, di abbigliamento, e la potete comprare su internet e fanno la spedizione in tutto il mondo, quindi uh, sto cercando di fare la stessa cosa con i prodotti alimentari. Offline 
orange wood. Does he know that it's on the schedule? AC Milan or Inter? <laughs> I don't like soccer. I never, uh, well, I, I like it, but I never follow the soccer. I don't have time. How long do you leave the door proof? Uh, so we did method about uh, six hours. How can you ferment longer? You just put it in the, uh, in the fridge for, for longer. So let's go see, let's go check the door because it's, uh, it's, see? This is the door, we're gonna check. We check the hands, it's nice and soft, so it's perfect for me. So now we're gonna leave it in the, in the dough machine and uh, for about uh, 15 minutes like this and then we're gonna give a little twist and ready to rock and roll. Voila! Uh, let me wash my hands one second. Vito, se Jacopo non viene, te lo faccio io lo shrift oggi. Prendi prima e... Allora, hai capito allora. Niente, c'è un pizzaiolo qua, cioè qua e questo è Los Angeles e purtroppo eh, la gente non si presenta a lavorare, che dobbiamo fare? Meno male che so fare le pizze, fammi lavare le mani, arrivo subito. Merci maestro. Grande, guys. Lasciate un like, dai. Ci sono 158 persone uh, live e 77 like. Grande, grande ragazzi, grande. Can you come to visit? You teach me how to make door. Yes, I can come. Vediamo, yeah. I use a New York style dough recipe, the proofing in the fridge for one to four days. Find a recipe and increase the That's a lot of hydration, a lot of uh, days in the fridge. Oh shit, sorry guys, somebody was calling. Sorry guys, somebody was calling. Come ma? Quanta gluten free abbiamo? Abbiamo una gluten free, quindi ci vuole anche la gluten free. Il mio pizzaiolo non c'è. Alla grande. The nice thing of the live videos it's this, because you see the problems. And, uh, and the, all the work behind. So I'm moving all this wood. Sto pensando seriamente di prendere un forno a gas la prossima volta, eh? Guys, so, basically we're waiting. If you guys have any question, feel free to ask right now. And then, uh, if you, actually, you know what? In the meantime, tell me uh, what you want me to do next on my next video. Amici, nel frattempo che siamo qui ad aspettare l'impasto si riposa un po', uh, ditemi cosa vorreste uh, che io farei come video sul mio canale prossimamente. Datemi un'idea. Uno di questi giorni veramente mi vedrà comparire e chiedere lavoro. Grande Max. 
What's the best kind of wood for wood? Again, uh, olive and orange wood. Uh, Chris, yes, I'm, uh, I just posted a video a couple of days ago about making the pizza dough at home. And that's basically the polish. Pucce pugliesi farcite. Bella idea. Hey, how do you keep your dough during the week? I don't understand the question. Next video, how to make pizza on guest barbecue. I will. Another video, how to how to shape slap pizza. Wow. Okay, I will make it. What is your favorite pizza? My favorite pizza that today I'm gonna make for myself is, uh, uh, well, I love, I love margarita, but uh, I will make a pizza with tuna. Four hundred degrees for a pizza at home for twenty minutes. Mm, no, too much. It's cold. It's cold. Qua abbiamo mia madre a fare la preparazione. Ve la presento. Eccoci qua. Il suo nome è Maria Palazzolo. E che ci racconti oggi? Che stai preparando? Taglio un po' di funghi. Buongiorno mamma. Buongiorno mamma. Good morning everyone. So we waiting. Ciao a tutti, i corsi del maestro mi piacerebbe. So, uh, amici, prestate, state sempre uh, live, uh, no, state sempre attenti al mio, al mio canale uh, YouTube perché sto per fare un nuovo progetto che partirà da febbraio con una scuola online. Quindi voi potrete entrare uh, dentro questo video pagando un, un minimo tipo 2-3 dollari che poi è per la per la mia squadra che mi farà i video più professionali no? in questa maniera e uh, niente yes stay tuned on my uh, on my youtube channel which i'm going to do videos more professional made not this way it's too far uh, too too hard like this i don't like it do you still have fermented dough in your polish uh, what do you mean Per te qual è il migliore metodo? Il pasto napoletano? Uh, well, questo qua. DOP Serifarvo Course. 16 hour fermentation. I did 24 hours of uh, Biga and the rest is another 6 hours on the, uh, on the dough. Scusate amici. So I'm gonna leave you for a couple minutes right here. Give me one second, stay there, don't leave. I'm gonna get the phone number for uh, this, this pizzeria because we're gonna call it. So stay there, don't leave. Sono qua, sono qua, non sono andato da nessuna parte. So, uh, ok, penso che 15 minuti siano passati. Andiamo a. Hai dedicato, hai dedicato una pizza a un leone di legna? I will post the video of the polish in a couple of days on my YouTube channel. So this is the dough. We're gonna spin a little bit for a couple of times. So like you can see, the dough is getting uh, nice, full of air inside.
Paul Scalia, thank you so much. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for the donation. You are the best. Thank you. Ok, ora facciamo riposare un altro po'. Ora la, la usciamo. Simo, perché dovresti aggiungere un po' più di farina oppure la lasci riposare? Allora, se tu non vuoi aggiungere la farina, lasciala riposare nella macchina per almeno una mezz'oretta. Ora sto facendo il coso un po' più in fretta perché siamo qui uh, live. Però lasciala riposare mezz'oretta, poi la giri e vedrai che uh, la farina, l'impasto si, si compatte di più e non si attaccherà alle mani. Comunque, in questo momento andiamo a staccare. E hey, Cesar, can you hold the phone, please? Just a couple of seconds. What's the water temperature for the dough? Room temperature. Best pizza in Italy, according to you, Franco Pepe, Damicelle, or Enzo Coccia? So between these three? Or somebody else? Or somebody else. Well, it's hard to say best pizza in Italy, because uh, uh, best pizza in Italy doesn't exist, it's too many. Good. If I have to choose between these three, I choose, uh, what is it? Franco Pepe. Okay. Da Michele or Enzo Coccia? Enzo Coccia. Coccia. For me. So, now this is the nice and soft. Like you can see, it's not sticky. I'm gonna put it there and uh, follow me. Got it. You okay? <laughs> That's what happens when, when you do lives. 
tend to come at Okay, now, I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to wash my hands for a second just here. Show the plate with you. Um, come facciamo capire quando i panetti sono lievitati? Come facciamo a capire quando... Ok, that's easy, uh, è facile. Praticamente quando c'hai 15 uh, panetti di, uh, dentro il contenitore, quando le palline sono unite una con l'altra, abbiamo visto la, uh, con gli occhi che la pasta è fronte. Um. How long will it take to grow? Which one? I'm guessing, I'm guessing this one. So this dough now, we keep it there for one hour and then I'm gonna start to make the balls and then the dough is ready for tonight around six o'clock. So, let's go back in English first, then I'm going to say in Italian. Uh, oh yes. uh, so, we made a polish, 10 liters of, pol 10 liters of polish, basically with 10 liters of water, 10 kilos of flour, and 10, kilos of gram uh, 10 grams of uh, yeast dry. We made it, we keep it inside the fridge for 24 hours, 
and we put it in the dough. So then we made the dough with the five liters extra water and then the rest of the flour Baha'i is emitted like about 80% of uh, hydration. And uh, now let it rest for one hour here and then we're gonna make the balls and it's good for tonight uh, six, so about six hours. And for this, hope you like it. Leave a thumbs up. And thank you for the people that donate money to this chat. I really appreciate your support. Okay, now in Italy. Uh, amici, abbiamo fatto il polish uh, 24 ore prima, che erano 10 litri di acqua, 10 kg di farina e 10 grammi di lievito. Facile, 10, 10, 10. L'abbiamo lasciato nel frigorifero per 24 ore, l'abbiamo aggiunto nel giorno dopo, nel dopo 24 ore l'abbiamo messo nella macchina, abbiamo aggiunto 5 litri di acqua e la farina ad occhio, perché eh, volevo un impasto un po' soffice, quindi ho deciso di fare un 80% di idratazione e ho fatto un impasto molto morbido. Quindi abbiamo fatto l'impasto, lo usciamo, lo mettiamo qui a riposare per un'ora oppure nel dentro il contenitore e cominceremo a fare le palline in un'oretta e la, la pasta è pronta alle 6, quindi più o meno tra 6 ore. Eh, spero vi sia piaciuto questo video, lasciate un, un like, un commento e niente. Martedì posterò il video di come fare il polish. Tuesday I will post the video how to make the polish. So stay tuned and check it out, please. Of course, always share on the social media. Uh, Nati, guys, thank you so much. I'm gonna read some comments in a little bit. Let me see. There you go. Thank you so much, Cesar. The guy is right there. You, he guys. just made a video for me. Wow, some people, some guy donated $6. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the support. Uh, just want to let you know one thing that all the money that I'm making uh, uh, from uh, YouTube here I will use it towards investing my school okay, I'm gonna say this a little bit better for you hey Cesar can you make one espresso please Cadore. everywhere uh, guys thank you so much uh, I want to say uh, this so all the money that I'm making from YouTube they you guys are uh, donate or from uh, uh, from sponsor and uh, stuff like this from YouTube views and stuff uh, I'm uh, um, I'm investing all this money to uh, open a, a this uh, this uh, new project which is gonna be Feb January February uh, to just for you to make this school of uh, of, uh, of the pizza to teach train everyone how to make the pizzas online so that's the reason why i'm doing uh that's a, that's where the money goes to uh, always in this business and uh, nothing to make all of this because to make a better product in the pizza industry i'm gonna say this in italian too because it's important one more like and we get to 100 let's see let's see one more like we get to 100 there we go, one and one, thank you. Uh, amici, allora, dicevo, tutti i soldi che sto ricevendo uh, tramite il mio canale YouTube, tra gli sponsor e le persone che donano qui, eh, verranno tutti investiti per creare questa nuova scuola, che, questo nuovo progetto di è un'accademia che sto aprendo a uh, Bai Vito Jacopelli, eh, soltanto per fare un prodotto un po' più superiore, un po' migliore, E aiutare tantissima gente che ama la pizza e sperando che nel mio piccolo cambio un po il, il sistema pizza uh, business diciamo pizza business perché noi qua facciamo pizza per passione e ci dedichiamo ogni giorno e tutti i pizzaioli che vengono qui a lavorare sono uh, persone pizzaioli che amano fare questo mestiere non per soldi ma se i soldi servono sono una cosa secondaria quindi Niente, vi volevo ringraziare, un grande like, e ci vediamo martedì con un nuovo video, condividete sempre i miei video, grazie e iscrivetevi al mio canale. Grazie, thank you so much guys, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna get my drink espresso, I will post uh, a picture of this dough uh, tonight around 6, 7, 7 o'clock on my social media Instagram, so check it out, Vito Jacopelli, to check out this product. Uh, thank you so much. 
subscribe to my channel. A big thank you and kiss to who donate the money today. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate your support. Ciao. I'll see you Tuesday with a new video. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.